sore spot for power outages ever since Tuesday's wind started ripping up those trees. Here's a live look at PG&E's outage map right now. Last check, nearly 20,000 customers along the peninsula are still in the dark. In East Palo Alto and Menlo Park were especially hit hard. And two days later, well, people are just extremely frustrated. Our Ann McAvitt joins us live with an update. And Yeah, first of all, I want to mention Highway 101 is closed right now in both directions in Menlo Park. So that could be a commute nightmare for some people. PG&E working on the problem, but patience is wearing very thin. Thousands of people in East Palo Alto and Menlo Park have been in the dark and cold for two days now, not knowing when the power might come back on. We still don't have a team on site. Uh, we still don't have technicians on site, and it doesn't sound like we are a priority. And I, I don't understand why our community doesn't get the same consideration other communities do. Our chopper was over at Menlo Park earlier today as PG&E finally got to work on a power line damaged in Tuesday's heavy winds. They were replacing a wire that goes across the freeway, and they say they couldn't get to this earlier because they had to move a fallen tree to get to it. In order to do that, they had to do this, shut down traffic along 101. You see the northbound lanes closed there. Right now, it is, again, both north and southbound lanes that are closed. This is in Menlo Park between Willow and Marsh Roads, pg and he said it was a complicated process working with Caltrans and the CHP to make this happen. And we have a number of lines uh, across the freeway. Um, and again, uh, that's something that uh, as your regional vice president, I'll be looking at how we want to think about that uh, in the future. So at last word, the work along 101 was supposed to be finished by 6 tonight, but that is not going to turn the lights back on. Additional work is required before that happens, so no firm timeline on that. Also, the Menlo Park City Council is holding an emergency meeting right now, and they are offering free hotel rooms for tonight. You have to call the city manager's office before 8 p.m. That number is on their website, menlopark.gov. Sarah. That is very important information and probably very helpful for people who are cold tonight. And thank you. As PG&E works to turn the lights back on, Bay Area lawmakers have some pretty harsh words for them. Assemblymember Mark Berman tweeted that PG&E failed miserably in communicating with its customers. This from State Senator Josh Becker, quote, My staff has made many calls over to them and spoken to so many more residents without heat right now, including his own. We must do better, end quote. Well, PG&E did tweet an apology for the delay, the long delay, saying they had to work out 101 closure with Caltrans and CHP, as Ann mentioned.